सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर टूटोरियल्स सो गाइज टूडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ वी एफ एक्स एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लैंडर फॉर ट्रैकिंग गाइज आई एम यूजिंग आफ्टर इफेक्ट ओके सी गाइज दैट्स माई फाइनल वर्क फाइनल कंपोजिशन एंड गाइज नाउ आई शो यू माई वन फ्रेम रेंडर सो गाइज गो टू वन रेंडर एंड रेंडर इमेज चेक येस सी गाइज दैट्स माई रियली कूल रेंडर राइट इट्स लुकिंग रियली गड सी गाइज दैट्स माई डिफरेंट स्टाइल ऑफ वी एफ एक्स एनिमेशन and guys now i teach you how i create this type of vec so guys go to on file and i create new com new check and guys go to on after effect see guys that's my tracking and preview yeah guys tracking it so much easy in after effect so guys again go to on file and new project so guys click on here composition check guys upload your clip so select guys you can download this clip link in description so import Yeah, that's my simple clip, and guys, see that's my tracking and track camera check. Okay, so guys, my tracking is finished, and next one, guys, select your any three tracker points like this, and right click, create solid and camera check. Yeah, and guys, preview. Yeah, see guys, that's my really simple motion tracking, and guys, now import your data in Blender. So stop. and guys go to on here and see guys that's my track and guys go to on transform so guys select your top four position like this and guys copy go to on blender guys delete your all assets and next one guys create plane check yeah see guys that's my plane right and second one guys import your camera so guys go to on here transform and position orientation check and copy So guys, create camera check. Yes, see guys, that's my camera. And now, guys, start from one second like this. And guys, lastly, double click on this camera and focal length copy. Yeah. And guys, go to a blender and select your camera. So see guys, that's a focal length paste like this. And press zero. Yeah, that's my simple camera and background image check. Guys, import your same clip. So movie clip import, and guys select and import check. Okay, so guys next one opacity I like hundred percent and preview check. Yeah, right. See that's really simple. Okay, so guys next one go to on again folder and guys see that's my twenty five fps frame. So right click on this video clip and guys go to on property. Here and detail and see guys that's my frame rate twenty five fps. So guys go to on Blender and guys click on here frame rate I use twenty five and guys I change render setting cycle and device GPU check. So guys max M I like one to eight enter and guys go to down film and transparent check. So guys go to on color here color management and guys. See that's my view transform. I use standard. Okay, so guys, all is good and preview. Yeah, and guys, now go to on here. Guys, select your camera and last frame. That's my last frame. Like a three four three. I like three four zero. Enter. Yes. Right. Okay, so guys, one more time preview. Okay, so guys, my all setting is finished, and now, guys, I increase plane size. So, guys, starting from one second, and increase plane size. So, select and increase like this corner, and guys, go to on edit mode. So, guys, select this one and go to on top, and guys, closer, and now, guys, I change this one global to local. Yeah. And again, press zero. Yeah, good. And guys, select this point. Go to one corner like this, right? And now, guys, select this one. Go to one here in corner. Yeah, good. Yes, much better, right? Okay, so guys, go to one down and select. Yes. Okay, so guys, my building position. That's my simple plane. And now, guys, extrude this plane. So select 
and go to on edit mode select this face this one viewport select and guys press e so extrude press 0 yeah go to on last like this and guys create shape like a building yeah that's it guys right see that's my simple building rough layout and now guys select your cube go to on here so guys visibility and shadow catcher check guys select your this one plane and shadow catcher check right and now guys click on here yeah that's my simple shadow catcher effect okay so next one guys you can import your 3d assets so guys go to on sketch fab here guys see that's my sketch fab add-on and guys select and search like a sunglass enter and click see guys that's my different different style of sunglasses so i like this one so select and guys import model check see guys that's my 3d model and next one guys rotate this 3d model so select this one and right click select hierarchy and rotate this 3d model like this so guys press 7 so press 7 so that's my top view panel so guys drag and drop on here and rotate position yeah guys little bit more yeah good and guys smaller press scale size scale size check yes good see guys that's my really cool shape and press zero and guys little bit up like this and next one guys you can apply on headphone so guys sunglasses and type headphone enter yeah see guys that's my different different style of headphones guys you can apply any headphones depending on your work i already download headphone model so guys append i have headphone model i already download from sketch fab so select and import yes and guys see that's my headphone and guys now go to on here so drag and drop so guys select so guys select this headphone layer right click select object and i increase the size so guys go to on here that's my top view panel and increase headphone size like this and rotate rotate like this yeah and guys now go to on here on mid yes and increase scale size so guys go to on align yeah good like a one five two yeah and guys go to on here yes and press zero yes see guys that's my really cool composition right it's looking really good and next one guys i apply lighting so guys simple lighting i use sunlight and guys i use only top view like this and up yeah good and guys little bit closer on my object and so guys select this one sunlight so guys go to on here and strength i like guys uh, two is good and guys go to on angle like a 20 so go to our world that's my sdri so guys you can apply any sdri image depending on your composition so guys go to down and guys i like this one that's my building sdri so strength like a 1.2 is good and press zero yeah good and guys i show you my one frame render so render image check okay so guys my one frame render is finished and close so go to on compositing and use node check so guys as a last tutorial press shift a and use alpha hour connect to mid one and guys now select shift a use movie clip so guys import simple so guys firstly connect this one and second one connect this one and lastly use viewer so guys connect to this one like this yeah much better see guys that's my really cool composition 
and one more time render and render image check yeah see guys the axe my really cool composition it's looking really good right it's really simple guys okay so guys close and go to on here so guys go to an output and i create jpeg sequences render like a ran new enter and take any file name except check okay so guys my work is finished and guys preview check yeah that's my final work guys my motion tracking composition is looking really beautiful and really good okay so guys my work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel and guys lastly go to on render and render image check that's it thank you guys